Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Just Fun Stuff. We have the absolute pleasure of doing another island tour today. And what I'm excited about is it's almost snow season. And I really wanted to get in one more super fall island, get the full fall experience. Before all this snow comes, I just want to be living in my favorite season. And I think that's what we're going to get here on Hazelonia. I'm really excited to go in. It's all things fall, uh, beautifully decorated houses, fall activities, the fall colors, the leaves. I can't wait to get into it. So let's not hesitate. Let's go ahead and take a look at this map. All right, there are many, many waterways and bridges, so that is exciting. I love when there's waterways all in and throughout. I do see some pathwork being done, some terraforming, no set residential area. They're all kind of throughout the island, so the island is the village as a whole. Um, as for villagers, we have Marshall, there's Kiki, Mac, I love Mac. There's Pappy, Lolly, we have Butch, Mary, Poppy, Gonzo, and Chief and the Dream Address is at the bottom. So hop on, tour along with me, have some fun exploring. If not, save it for another time. Of course, it's going to be in the description along with all of the creator's information so you can go and check them out on Instagram. Super, super talented. Go show them some love. With that being said, let's get into Hazelonia. We all know that once you get off the air or come out of the airport, the view you get is an indicator of what's to come. And if this is my view, I could not be more excited. I love the trees and the colors and the windmills and the mushrooms and the waterways and the path. Like, what's not to like? I am, I am super excited. Now, we are going to start by going to the right this time following the signs back to resident services because obviously when i woke up out of the dream there were presents right out front so we want to make sure that we grab those so let's follow the signs and head back to resident services but again oh look there's a rock garden i try when i'm like sprinting like a, a crazy person to <laughs> the airport to start. I try not to look at what's happening in the background. Look at how beautiful I ran right past a rock garden, a floating one on its own little island at that. How beautiful with the mushrooms. All right, back to the mission at hand, which is heading back to resident services. And ta-da, we are here. And there are, yes, a pile of gifts. So I'm going to go ahead, pick these up, open them up, and then we will see what has been left for us. Okay, for treats and presents left for us, we have an orange frozen treat. We have a spooky treats basket. We have a red balloon, a handheld lantern. There's a frugal hat, some wingtip shoes, a knit hat. There's stockings, casual pants, a pleather fringe bag, which I feel like we need to add to our outfit <laughs> um there is a yodel cardigan which we're already wearing so great minds think alike there's a maple leaf umbrella frugal dress a ladder that we might need and a mush umbrella i'm thinking normally we all know i go for the balloon but i'm kind of feeling the mush umbrella it's just feeling so fall to me and i i just it works with the whole outfit the pleather bag the hat Yes, it's a, it's a whole look. Now, let's get into Hazelonia. I don't know if we should go up front. I love the little gyroid. And just follow the path that we're on, I'm thinking. We're just going to go to the right and work our way around, I think. But what is this little coffee shop right on the beach? How cute is that? So you can come in your coffee look at the cute little tablecloths it's got the little rugs underneath i love the customs oh my goodness right on the beach you can get coffee and then there's a hayride oh that's adorable that is the cutest thing can you actually like oh you can pose wait there we go you can like pose for the hayride that's the cutest thing Oh, that's adorable. 
What a clever use for the tire toy. The little half tires matching the hay bale. That's adorable. What a fun, fun start to the island. A little coffee stop, a little hay ride, a little beachfront picnic. So cute. And then moving across, we have Able Sisters. And I love when there are little custom outfits out front. Look at how sweet they are. They just scream old-fashioned fall in the country. That's just adorable. And then on the beach, what do we have? Beach bar. So you can come get yourself a little sparkling cider. Sit on the beach, enjoy the waves while the kitties are on the other side going on their hayride. I feel like that is the perfect experience. Absolutely love that. And then you've just got this relaxing little beach area where you can sit and put your feet up. Oh, this is just so beautiful. Then you come across, go around the beautiful fountain, and you have found Nook's Cranny, which is all nestled in in the corner here. I love the little fountain, the pumpkins, the paths. It's just so pretty. There's so many things going on. You've even got little... Oh, look at how cute! There's a custom where it looks like it's been kind of dug up and they're just planting it. And I love that they've got the shovel and then the wheelbarrow beside it. That is so cute and such a tiny detail, but it's really eye-catching. Alright, let's go. Oh, I see a villager house kind of tucked in here. And are they home? Pumpkin? Latte! I'm so glad I caught the door. I barely... I was looking at the pumpkins and like, where do we go next? But it looks like they are home. There's a sign for pumpkin latte. You know we're going inside. It's Lolly's house. How cute is this? It's all set up like a little cafe. Look at the little acorn and mushroom print on the back wall they've got the pumpkin latte sign hanging from above they've got the little bar set up oh that's too cute all oh, the wood and lolly's literally in the back ready to serve you all the treats and the lattes that's so cute but i love that little like built up window area with the cute little custom in the back and the candles going too cute All right, back outside. Oh, I see a pipe. Do we take the secret pipe? I think we do. Where has this brought us? This has brought us to, oh, all the way over to the main house. That's crazy. So you can go from literally one side of the island all the way back to this side of the island. We might as well check out the main house while we're here and then we'll hop back in the tube and then work our way around. But I'm excited to see what's going on in the main house. And how cute is it, by the way? It itself looks like a little mushroom, which is adorable. The color choices are perfect. This is like the biggest farmhouse, like dining area, kitchen area that I think I've ever seen. I love the use of the carpets. You've got the uh, turkey day tables, like the harvest tables out. You've got all the baking in the back, the supplies. I love the store or the storefront in the back. You've got the fireplace. All of the artwork on the walls, the old style china that's always displayed in like old houses. So cute. Oh, look at how serene the bathroom is and the window customs. I love a good window custom. And that is so cute with the little lacy curtains hanging from it, but it's just so peaceful in here and calm with the water running. You've got the little shower in the corner 
I love how they've built up the walls with the pillars to create that backdrop in behind the tub and an area to put the laundry machine. This is just beautiful. I mean, it's a bathroom, but it's, it's stunning. The next room is like a little sitting room, rec room, if you will, the mushroom wall. I love the mushroom wall. And then you've got the dark wood floors. You've got the little curtains over the window, the chairs, the books. It's just so quaint. And I love, love, love the custom on the lamp and the pillows, the pile of the Zen cushions over here. So cute. Oh, the custom on the floor with like the little... I don't even know what you call that lace carpet. It's so pretty underneath the old timey TV. This is so cute. Upstairs is the most relaxing looking bedroom. You've got the wooden table. Oh, I love the little sewing kit or that's the art kit, right? Like mom's pen stand which is so cute. And then you've got the dressers and the bed, all sorts of books and magazines. You've got the clothes in the corner. It's just so lovely. I love the brick wall that's all built up. The tulip lamps on the wall are so cute. Oh, you've got the stockings already up and ready with the fall tree. So cute. And downstairs is it's a Halloween bar. Oh, look, Jack's right there in the corner. Like, literally standing there in the corner. I love that. But this is like a little Halloween party all set up down here by Jack. You've got the table set up. You've got the cauldron. I love the little pumpkins inside the cage. It's just cute and a little unexpected. The rest of the house is like this cozy farmhouse. And then you come downstairs and... It's a little bit of a Halloween party, but I love it. I love the effects on the cauldron and then the fact that you can actually activate the cauldron. Too cute. We are back outside and I feel like we're gonna go check out the rest of this island, but I just, let's look at this cute little backyard beach area with the little plants and jilts. I do see a path, but we, are not going backwards. We are going the way that we started and going all the way around. So I'm gonna hop back in this too. Oh, I'm so sorry, I shook your apples off. Can I get back in the pipe? Yes, and head back over. All right, back to exactly where we were with Lolly and her pumpkin lattes. We are gonna head back up and work our way around so that we check out this entire island. Oh my goodness, look at the little squirrel sign up there and then I see Marshall walking around. That's adorable. Oh, I love this little view though. The little waterways and then you see Marshall outside of his house. There's a bridge we can get over there, but I just want to make sure I go in all directions and check everything out. Look at how sweet the beaches are with all of their little customs and the carpets and all these little areas to sit down and relax. That looks like a little birthday party on the beach. Traveling up, there was a little ladder set out and there's another little villager house and it says apple cider outside of the door. You've got the apple cider on the bottles, the cutest little customs, the little umbrella custom with a basket of apples out front and they are home. So I'm excited to see what we can purchase for or with apple cider. Apple cider and it's Poppy's house. This is where you, I wonder if you can get like souvenir bottles of apple cider to bring home. She's got her little menu set up there. She's got it cooking on the back. She, I love the little plastic container that you like you'd bring to sports games, but it's full of apple cider. You've got the barrels. There's so many different ways you can have apple cider. And I just love the little house, the dark wood, the different textures on the floor. I love the built up walls so that you see the leaves and the trees in the back outside of the window. It's just so cute.
back out and down the ladder. We're gonna go back around because I want to go over. Marshall's just marching back and forth, but... Oh, now I see why. There's a waterway in front of him. So you can go over and visit Marshall and his house. I love that there's the little sign for the squirrel out front there, but I love the little waterways. Just adorable. And now we go back around. There's a little bike rental too, so if you want to pick up a bike and just bike around this beautiful island, you absolutely can do so. Oh, beeswax! There's another villager home, and I'm seeing the sign for beeswax. And are they home? They are home! I'm so excited! Let's go inside and see what they've done. This is so cute! It's like a little beeswax candle store! Look at all the different candles in the back! You've got the beeswax symbol on the front. I love all the little shops! They are just like the cutest things! Oh, you've got like the actual beekeeper's hive there with like the honeycomb with the beeswax right on it so you can tell they're processing it, or processing it right here. That's so- oh, they're making it in the back with the bucket! And all of the little measuring tools and spoons and whisks. That's so cute. Oh, I love that. And it's so far. I love beeswax candles. So cute. There's Pappy. There are so many activities to do on this island. I want to actually, if this island was a real place, I would 100% go and visit. Hay rides on the beach. There's pumpkin lattes. There's apple cider. You can come to the beeswax factory. Like, yes, please. Heading up the pump. There's pumpkin carving. Look, they've got the giant carriage, and then the jack o' lanterns, and the knives, and the areas to sit and carve pumpkins. And then there's just pumpkins. Pumpkins everywhere, pumpkin carving. You've got two houses here. One villager is not home, one is, so I'm super excited about it. But look at, you've got Jack's face over here and a hat and clothing. Is this like gonna be a costume shop? I don't know, but add on to the list of activities. You have pumpkin carving. Like what can you not do on this island that isn't like the most fall thing? But this villager's home. Let's see what's going on inside. I was right. It is a costume shop. I love the customs for the, like, scary pumpkin face in the back. They had um, the same one in the basement of the main house at the Halloween party, but I really love that. But you've got Jack's face there. You've got the little bag. You've got all the different styles of costumes. Hoods and hats and dresses and Mary herself. And I love that there's a crafting table. Like, she can do custom outfits. There's change rooms in here so you can change into costumes as well, which is so interactive and adorable. I absolutely love that you can actually go into the change room and if in your inventory you've got, like, costumes and stuff, you can totally role play and act out like you've just bought something at Mary's little shop here and put it on to go back outside. That's adorable, I love it. Oh, I'm just in love with this island so far. It's just, it's everything I was hoping for. I needed a good burst of fall before that snow comes and this is giving me life. Absolutely amazing. Now, we need to continue. We did the beeswax. Can I go? I can. I'm trying to figure out how do I get around. I gotta remember, I also have a ladder if I want to get down, but I think I want to stay up top right now. We can just hop across and work our way. Oh, there's a secret beach down there, kind of tucked in in the corner down a level, but you have this whole little area by the 
pumpkin carving in the houses with more pumpkins and little hay bales and areas and customs. It's just every little spot is fully decorated. I think this might be an instance where we can use our ladder and work our way down. I love that. I love that that's provided for you. Oh, and it brings you to the cutest little picnic area and campsite. I don't think I can get across that way. Can I get down? No, I can't get down that way. Oh, there's like our leaf umbrella. I think I need to go down and around. I don't know. Half the fun is in the exploration. So let's go. Oh, back down the stairs. Conveniently located here. I'm whipping out ladders and <laughs> trying to find the hardest route humanly possible. But we can just follow the stairs. Go across the bridge and you see the big campsite. Oh, look at the cute little book on the ground. About gardening and planting pumpkins. That is like the cutest custom I think I've ever seen. That is adorable. I'm following the paths and the bridges and it brings us to the actual campsite and they've set up a fishing rod fireplace. I love the little ukulele. They can sit by the water, enjoy these fall trees. All the view it's in behind them, the sounds that is like camping at its finest. And of course the secret beach is down here. I love this. I love that there is a tub on the beach. You're hidden by all the reeds by the water. And then you've got the candles, so you can just sit in your t soaking tub by the water, just enjoying your apple cider, <laughs> taking in the night sky. Oh, I'm, I'm all for it. Back into the island. I saw that, oh, it's like a little post office. So this is where you would come and you can, I see the little post on the actual mailbox. So you can come drop off all your letters. If you have a key to one of the lock boxes, pick up your mail. There's a little telephone. So cute. Going up a level. I love this custom. This is one of the first customs I think I ever used. And it's one of my absolute favorites. The big log that you have to walk across to get to different areas. So adorable. And then you can see the ponds and the reeds and the plants. And every little area that can be decorated here is fully decorated. Whether it's plants, customs, little picnic spots, pumpkins. It's, it's just so beautiful. There's something to see literally everywhere. Oh, there's Gonzo. I'm not trying to push you, Gonzo. I'm so sorry. There's a little mushroom farm. I love the mushrooms. Are they just... They're just set down, right? I don't think I've ever picked a mushroom and then put it back down. If we're being really honest, I pick them and I either eat them or craft them. So do you just set them back down to make these convenient little farm areas or do you have to like plant them? I think you just set them down. Either way, I'm talking too much. They're just so cute. Now we have another villager house and they are also home. So I'm excited to see what fall activity and or fall theme is inside this house. It is literally the most fall house you could go into. There's a mushroom. Is that a mushroom pizza? Mushroom pizza, mushroom soup on a mushroom table with the picture of the different varieties of mushroom on the wall. That is the cutest custom. You've got the little bed set up. There's like the mushroom on the floor with the mushroom lamp and the mushroom log. You can see mushrooms in the background. It's like you can leave and follow this trail. I love that wall because it looks like you can walk into it and you're going to walk into a forest. This is so cute. Got the vines hanging from the top. I love it. 
That's so cute. This may be one of my favorite houses that we've seen so far. This is just adorable. And back outside. And back down and heading around. But what is this? DIY. Oh, how cute. They've got the little... You can do some DIYs. You've got some painting. You've got the tool kits. It's like a shed and garden area, if you will. I love the customs that they're using, but I love the scarecrow. It's like make your own scarecrow area. Oh, they've got the wheat and everything. Like, it's so cute. Another fall activity. I wish somebody would do this. I wish you could go to a place where you could like DIY your own little scarecrow fall thing. I'm sure there is a place like that. I've just never seen one, and I am now obsessed with the idea of finding that. Going across the bridge and another beautiful waterway, we have the museum, and I love that it is in tent form again. Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good, and in this case, I think having a big giant museum would not have worked so well, so having it in the tent like its own little separate camping area set up with the little fire pit and the tree trunks outside is just so fitting and so perfect and look at this oh my goodness the little fall themed area in the back it's like a little birthday party or fall party I don't know, they've got cake set up, the fruits, all the tables in the orchard. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. And then more on the beach. Oh, it's all like pottery on the beach. You've got it all set. Oh, I think this is a pottery area. You've got the gyroid making the clay over here. And then you've got the oven or kiln to dry it. You've got the paints and the glazes. It's just, do you imagine pottery on the beach? I want to live on this island. I want to DIY my own scarecrow. Well, we leave people down on the other side of the beach taking their hayrides after we've enjoyed our cider and we've carved some pumpkins. Oh, there's so many things I want to do all on this island. So, 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 so beautiful. Okay, I'm just making sure that's the mushroom house where we were. I want to make sure I don't miss anything because everything is just so beautiful on this island. Let's go up a level. We have more villager house. There's a bakery and they are not home. I'm assuming it's Kiki's house. But there's a bakery all set up with the muffins and preserves and the pumpkins and the actual like ovens oh i love the little carts where you could come and buy the fresh baked goods it's so cute i'm so upset that they are not home at the bakery i would have 100 percent went in and checked out that house Okay, we want to keep going the opposite way because I just noticed the sign and that's going to bring us back to resident services. And we have already been to resident services. I would love to see the rest of the island. So walking through this big, beautiful pumpkin pat. Oh, we have another villager house and they are also not home. But that is the joy of dream addresses is you never know who's going to be home. So it gives you another reason to come back. And I'm definitely going to come back and walk around this because this is giving me so much joy. I am just obsessed with the entire fall theme and the activities that you can do, the houses. It's just beautiful. Down another level to a nice big farming area. You've got all the crops, the plants. This is, oh, another... Scarecrow from the DIY Scarecrow Collection, which I am... That needs to happen because that is the greatest idea. 
And this is the main house. We already hopped in the tube to get over there, which is such a fun idea as well. Then we just can walk along the beaches because the beaches are all fully decorated too, which is just so cute. You've got the little beds. You've got picnic areas set out, campfires, the arches. There's just so much going on on this island. So much to see. So many views. Like, look at how beautiful. This is where we started at the airport. Just stunning views, pathwork, waterways, houses, activities. So much to see, so much to do, so much exploring. Oh, it has given me life. I am absolutely obsessed with fall, and this is everything I was looking for. I hope you enjoyed it, too. I'm going to go ahead and end my tour here, though. I want to thank you guys so, so much for coming along and touring with me. If you had as much fun and enjoyed it as much as I did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel as always. Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing. It means absolutely, and I mean absolutely everything to me. Thank you so much, and as always, you know I'm gonna be back with more Animal Crossing videos.